In this video, we will be analyzing a brand new synopsis for Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2. This synopsis reveals to us a lot more about the upcoming season and teases an all new threat for the Nublar 5. It also reveals information about where the cargo ship is heading. Welcome back to Jurassic Outpost. Let's dive right on into this Chaos Theory video. So an all new synopsis found on Collider.com provides new information about Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2. While this synopsis has not been posted by DreamWorks or Netflix themselves, it does seem to align with what we know about the season and from what we can work out is legit. So while I would take it with a pinch of salt, let's take a look at what it says. Amidst a sprawling dinosaur sanctuary, the creation of a new genetic experiment goes awry, leading to unforeseen dangers. As the escaped creature wreaks havoc, a blend of old allies and new faces races against time to restore order and prevent the animal from reaching populated areas. So there is a lot of information in there to break down. Firstly, a new genetic experiment. Does this mean a brand new hybrid will be joining Chaos Theory's second season? Can Cretaceous introduced one of Dr. Wu's secret projects, the E750, the Scorpius Rex? <laughs> This hybrid dinosaur featured in the third season of that show after being teased at the end of the second and terrorized the campers on the island. Will Chaos Theory be following in Camp Cretaceous's footsteps and introduce a brand new hybrid dinosaur? Could this new hybrid be tied to an appearance of Dr. Wu himself who also appeared in Camp Cretaceous or is this a different type of genetic experiment altogether? We know from the synopsis that it is an animal but what kind of animal is it? Let's read on. So a sprawling dinosaur sanctuary. In the teaser so far, we have seen a glimpse of what season two might entail. One of the teasers showed some of our characters returning to a jungle setting. Whatever and wherever this dinosaur sanctuary is, it must be near or in a jungle. If we take another look at the map found in Ben's van, numerous locations pinpointed on it are in a general area for rainforests or jungles in general. Okay, first of all, real talk. Are you eating food out of a boot? Because if you are, we need to talk about that. Ugh. There has been a lot of speculation that Western Africa is the spot. Somewhere here lies a dinosaur sanctuary, for some reason. What kind of sanctuary is this? What kind of park is this? And who runs it? This location is no doubt tied to the mysterious broker, someone whose identity will come to be revealed very soon. You will remember that in Jurassic World Dominion, Biosyn created their own dinosaur sanctuary, a sprawling valley filled with multiple prehistoric species. Perhaps this new location for Chaos Theory will be one of Biosyn's other sanctuaries, presuming they have more than one. Now, as with any good Jurassic story, the big bad new dino has to break out of whatever kind of containment it has been in and wreak havoc among the characters. Season two of Chaos Theory apparently won't be steering too far off this path. Whatever the new creature is, it escapes and wreaks havoc. And it's up to our group of ex-campers to find a solution. The synopsis continues, a blend of old allies and new faces races against time to restore order, leading us to wonder who these allies and new faces might be and if we've seen them before in the Jurassic franchise. The synopsis ends with prevent the animal from reaching populated areas. Wherever this ship is headed is not an island, it's part of the mainland and while likely positioned quite far from actual civilization, if the dinosaurs did break out, it could be a disaster for any nearby towns, cities, or whatever it might be. So who, I have to ask, is setting up dinosaur sanctuaries on the mainland? Biosyn doesn't seem like a good possibility, but maybe it's somebody else. It sounds like a stupid idea to me. I mean, there are plenty of islands that exist in this universe that could house the escaped dinosaurs. There has to be a lot more to this dinosaur sanctuary. But who the hell is breeding new hybrids? Perhaps it's a different, even more terrifying kind of genetic experiment. Corporate felt genetic modification would up the wow factor. They're dinosaurs, wow enough. Not according to our focus groups. We have reached out to DreamWorks to see if this synopsis is actually official, but as I said at the start, while you should take it with a pinch of salt, it does seem to be official. I think this kind of went under the radar as I found it on a number of other websites too, but it hasn't been published by Netflix or DreamWorks themselves, but Collider did get it from somewhere. 
So is this new genetic experiment connected to Dr. Wu? It very well could be. This mad scientist has been experimenting with crossbreeding since the Jurassic period and has a particular skill for creating killing machines. All of this exists because of me. We do have a strong suspicion that Dr. Wu's animated form, which could in itself be a human clone, will return in Chaos Theory. Is that something that you would like to see in Season 2? In this era of the Jurassic franchise, Dr. Wu just couldn't help bring some nasty things to life. Will we be seeing that side of Dr. Wu, or will we be seeing his more redeemed post-Jurassic World Dominion self? Claire should never have hidden you away. You're way too important, Maisie. When we saw his character in Dominion, he'd grown out his hair, for some reason, and was living rough, seemingly trapped in Biosyn's labs. Why couldn't he find his way out? What was he up to prior to that? Did Biosyn scoop him up from his, what would it be now, his fourth failed genetic experiment? Perhaps we'll see how Biosyn and Dr. Wu first became acquainted. We found the girl. She's en route. Cost me a fortune. What? As always, please leave your thoughts down below. We love reading through your comments. Now, we briefly discussed in our previous video that the broker is tied to this location and that the broker might in fact be Soyona Santos. Short hot money's double. Now, I doubt this, I don't think it's true, but you never know. Santos is likely one in a very large pool of dino brokers in the modern Jurassic world, and her character in Dominion was pretty well liked by fans. The Atrociraptors end up with Soyona during Dominion, as we saw, and they likely end up at the same location as the X-Campers in season two. But who, aside from that creepy robot lady, is controlling them? Who owns them? And who bred them? Do you think we'll see the origin of the Atrociraptors in Season 2? And do you think we'll see Soyona Santos make an appearance? It certainly would be a great way to add more connective tissue between the live action movies and the animated show, and into the Jurassic universe in general. In case you missed it, San Diego Comic Con attendees were treated to a viewing of the entire first episode of the new season at the event. We heard from Jurassic fan Natalie who was in attendance. In that video we also break down what else we learned from the panel, so check that out for a recap of all things Chaos Theory and SDCC. We have also heard that a new trailer is right around the corner, likely hitting sometime later this month. We'll keep our fingers crossed for that, and if it does, of course, we'll be breaking it down right here on Jurassic Outpost. So be sure to subscribe, comment, and like this video, and stick around to learn more about Chaos Theory and the world of Jurassic.